Are we in there? Are we in the camera? Oh, good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Oak Life Show, episode 26. That's exactly half a year, only half more, more to go. I'm with my friend, Miss Heather Edwards here. Heather, phenomenal athlete, is currently realizing that she's not quite 22 anymore. Yeah. <laughs> which is unfortunate. But a little elbow tendonitis. Yes. T t tell people what that feels like. It's very painful. It hurts to do most any movements with my arms. And then it really kills me at bedtime. What kind of people get elbow tendonitis? Uh, weightlifters are very common, I'm told. Uh, repetitive motion and improper form can be a cause of it as well. Gotcha. Can we say it's the same thing as tennis elbow, yes. golfers? Carpal tunnel, all of that. Gotcha. So it's, a, and you use your hands much of the day to yeah. do things. Yeah. So there's a nurse. She's, it's not like she's just <laughs> sitting there not doing anything. Like, okay. Very painful. Yes. And so, ten, how do you, how does one fix tendonitis? Rest, unfortunately. Rest. Lots of rest. Um, rest, and then they um, do massaging, really deep tissue massaging kind of stuff to work out all of the crap that's built up in there. So, if somebody had this, where would you rec what, what, what do you recommend they do? Rest the arm. That was really what helped most. Sorry. Who do they go to? Who do they see? <laughs> um, Rest I, is huge. We're, we'll, we'll come back to that. But but you went. You I sought went out. to my chiropractor. Okay. Gotcha. And um, there they manipulate. And they cracked your neck to fix your elbow. <laughs> well, they do sit all. They do that too. It but all no. Goes together, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, no, they. That's where they um, dig out all the tissues. They do this scraping thing that hurts, but makes it feel really good. Gotcha. That has a name, doesn't it? And I, it's gouache, I believe. Oh. I don't really know. Watch. <laughs> Sounds good. Leaves horrible bruises, but it helps a lot. Gotcha. So. What, what's what's the thinking in the in the scraping what it, stuff? It's breaking down all of the um, scar tissue mm -hmm. that's built up inside, so it can be reabsorbed and then get out of the way. What was wrong with me is that my tendons were so swollen they were rubbing on my bone with movement, and that so, caused pain. About lots of pain. It's no fun. It's no fun. So, I think the hard thing. And it's a fine line to walk because you need rest, but you also need blood flow. I was going to say yes. They want you to do some movement. So it's hard to, like I overdid it a couple of weeks ago because <laughs> it was feeling really good. Um, but they do need you to keep moving it because mm -hmm. that's what, again, yeah, the blood flow, which will help it heal. Yeah. I remember when my dad got his knees replaced, one of the things that they tried to do is get him up Definitely. and moving as, as, as quickly as possible. As possible. Yes. Um, and that's... And that's, that's hard because Very. you now have a new knee and <laughs> now you have to go, you know, walk around yes. and all you want to do is rest. Right. Nah. So it's that, that it's a fine line that, nah. that, that people need to, you know, walk between. Definitely. Not doing anything and resting and. And then not going overboard and doing too much. Yes. Nah. So. <laughs> so, so moral of the story, M moral of the story, nah. you, you, you really have to listen to your body. Yes. Resting is good. If resting doesn't work, seek out Cairo PT. Yes. Um, you know somebody in the, the professional realm. At, at, at some, I mean, because we tried some things here. Yep. But at some point, you know, I'm not Doctor Adam, so you know. <laughs> it just helps get, more to get different things going. Yeah. You gotta listen to your body. Definitely. Especially if you're not 22 anymore. <laughs> I didn't have tendonitis when I was 22. <laughs> Most people probably don't. Yeah. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.